Like I said, our world is deeply broken. And not only our world, but our hearts. That's what this past year has taught us and taught us well. But the truth is that God did not want us to stay there. The Bible tells us that God made us in his image so that we could belong to him. But instead, our great, 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 great grandparents and even our own hearts have chosen to reject God and go after bricks. To go after finding value and worth in ourselves. To make it ourselves. To prove it ourselves. We chose toil over rest. We choose anxiety over peace. We choose fear over love. And there is no amount of toil or effort or work that can get us back to peace with God again. But here's the good news. Here's the good news that God, seeing our miserable estate, sent us a rescuer. He sent his Sabbath rest to us, not in the form of a day, but in the form of a person, in his son. That is why Jesus says that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. He is bringing rest back. And he does that by taking our death away. He put our sin and our death and our toil onto himself. He died on the cross. Our death, the death that we're dying every day in our place. The Bible says that he cast our sin as far as the east is from the west. He remembers it no more. And God sets us free from our toil and welcomes us into his rest. And on the third day, Jesus rose again to bring the seventh day back. Because all who receive him to those who believe in his name, God would give them the right to be called sons and daughters of God. 